Leave it in 2019. Leave it in this decade. Do not go crazy over a chicken sandwich. That one picture started something terrible. With headlines such as this one. I mean, how? The stress became insurmountable to the point that the dad decided to take his 8-year-old to work to help out make these Popeye's chicken sandwiches. The child was filmed, it was put on the internet, and the dad did lose his job. Then a guy in jail even gets a hold of one of these Popeye's chicken sandwiches, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Ciao. And as of a few days ago, the latest is that Taco Bell is trying to come for Popeye's with its own fried chicken addition. We thought that wasn't enough. People are losing all humanity and even climbing through the drive through window. What's up, YouTube? What's cool? What's groovy? What's happening? Welcome to It's Time for Life. Yeah, so this whole chicken sandwich thing is <laughs> just crazy. I tried a Chick-fil-A sandwich for the first time and I'm going to take you through my analysis and we're going to break down the stuff that happened with the Popeye sandwiches and then I'm going to come back with some more chatty chatty stuff so stay tuned for all of it. This Marilyn They are crunchy, they are hot, nicely salted. I'm going to dip them in the sauce, the Chick fil A sauce that's really popular. Mm. The sauce is sweet, tangy, and a bit mustardy. Delicious. It's so good, a fly wanted to have some. Some would say that the, what's it called, the waffle fries are a little too salty. The combination of the saltiness of the waffle fries and then the sweetness and the tanginess and the mustardiness of the chick fil sauce. Yes, I love it. So I had about five more pieces than that. I don't want to remove the bag, the thing out of the bag because I feel like it might get cold. But yeah. And this is the burger. This thing is so piping hot, like lovely tea iced tea. I think you actually say lovely tea, not lovely tea. But anyway, that's probably due to this kind of aluminium foil insulation thermal situation that's going on within the wrap that the burger came in. Yes, that looks like a proper bun. That looks like an advert bun. Mm. Okay, don't mind my lipstick on my thumb, but this is what you get. So it's that, the bun, the chicken, and pickles. And no sauce, which is very surprising. So I think I think all the flavor comes from this chicken that looks very crispy and very tender and very moist and very delicious. So let's have a look and see. is beautiful. This is really salty. That's the price of all. It's how piping hot the food is. Like it came really hot. I think we need to dip the burger into the sauce. I feel like it's just way more salt that we would put in our normal food when we're cooking day to day. Definitely a food. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just say that and then say <laughs> definitely approved. No. So it is something for every now and again. Do I enjoy it every now and again to have a bit of extra salt than I would cook with? Yes. But this is definitely not healthy food, but that's no news to anybody. So yeah, the salt was kind of a shock. I don't cook with that much salt, but um, definitely not healthy, no. I guess every now and again would be okay, but it wouldn't be bad if you avoided it altogether either. Look at her, look at her, as if she's doing something good. You know, <laughs> my mom would just say, have you gone out to buy some more pimples? Ha, <laughs> the savagery of it all. Back with another one, our chick fil -A. got the authentic sauce. This is nuggets for $4.95. You get eight pieces. Mm, it's so hot. The chicken itself 
once again it's like so salty it's overly salty and the sauce it's supposed to balance it out with the tanginess one thing i will say though is that it's super moist and very corn on the outside what and very corn on the outside what did she say and very corn on the outside oh I, okay it's just too salty it needs spice it doesn't need a lot of salt like, i don't know why it's so salty well you can tell that the quality is great i'm done in no time and i just left my mouth feeling really really salty and if i didn't hydrate myself enough usually i would have quite a dry mouth right about now like the salt content is so much like i feel like i could eat something right now that does not have any salt in it and is super bland and i would still be okay because <laughs> i feel like there's just salt residue deposited in my mouth it's a lot it's just a lot and it's overpriced like you feel like i mean it's enough but it's overpriced it should be like one pound fifty two pounds maximum it's way too overpriced for what you get so yeah chick-fil-a fix your life because people are gonna buy this in the beginning but afterwards it's just gonna be too expensive now this is how i know that the popeyes chicken sandwiches are not as warm as people made them out to be you know i know even though i have not tried them yet i have tried the chick-fil-a chicken sandwiches and here's the thing there was a whole war going on people were trying to see which ones were better the chick-fil-a chicken sandwiches or the popeyes chicken sandwiches my thing is this these two were compared because they are in the same league nobody's out here comparing any of these sandwiches to the chicken sandwiches found at mcdonald's wendy's wherever else nobody is doing that or even kfc why because these chicken sandwiches are of a different league right so this is how i could get a good idea of what the popeye's chicken sandwich might be like in terms of quality and kind of presentation and stuff this burger was good for me i haven't been to different fast food places i had never been to one where the quality of the chicken was this good it was tender it was crunchy it was moist it was everything it tasted like a chicken well it was the quality of a chicken that i could make at home that i would make at home it doesn't take taste fade it kind of looks like the real taste and looks like a real deal but then the salt content is the one that worried me the most and I just wish they had given it more flavor in terms of spices rather than just put so much salt on it like the salt content is crazy and you know how McDonald's has like the ingredients and the calories and the salt content and whatever content on the packaging yeah I think these people need to do that because I'm oh maybe they did do that maybe I didn't see it anywho I'm very curious because it was so salty like it was really salt the thing that i'm trying to say is don't follow the social media people hyping up things to the highest heavens and then get formal fear of missing out skip work skip school standing these long queues to get a chicken sandwich i just it just pains me so much that people have gotten wounded over this people have exchanged hard hard words and even kill somebody over a chicken sandwich that's how serious it was there have been fist fights car crashes and even a murder over these popeyes chicken sandwiches it is wild i had some footage here but the powers that be did not want me to use those footages so i'm just gonna do a voiceover they've been queues that are super long to get through the drive dri to get through the drive through that is very hard to say to get through the drive through to get through I, I can't even get through that sentence people have been waiting for hours on foot in cars and because they're in cars and they're trying to queue jump people have been you know bumping into each other's cars like literally wrecking their cars and other people's cars over a chicken sandwich there is footage out there of people climbing over counters attacking managers and even people selling some of these chicken sandwiches out the back for a higher price so that people that know about this secret deal going on can sneak to the back and get theirs you know without getting wounded without getting injured and without having to wait a periodically long time to get their sandwich at a higher price but you know at a greater deal i guess i mean i've actually never seen anything like this ever we're going crazy over this for real 
and I've tried this chicken sandwich and it is in the same league as the Popeyes chicken sandwich and therefore I know it is not worth all the hoosa that we saw on the internet and even on the news because no food is no product is no special offer is and it's scary because Black Friday is lurking and this is how crazy people get on Black Friday as well sleeping outside of the shops rushing in not caring about other humans but people care so much about materialistic things and gluttony and just indulging and all these types of stuff anyway I just wanted to talk about it I finally tried a chicken sandwich that was in the same league as this Popeye's chicken sandwich and all I can say is we gotta cook more as a people we gotta cook more at home because even then we don't know where these chickens are coming from what they've been fed we don't know the half of it but the fast food places it's even worse because even more hands have touched it even more kitchen space and stuff has been in the process of dealing with it and you just don't really know what you're getting so yeah that is um, that's kind of my two cents it's not worth all the fuss nothing really is let's be humans let's care for one another and find joy in that instead of all these materialistic things and food with the holiday season coming up it's even worse like people have already started buying presents and all kinds of things like when you're going to town it's madness no we need to stop that we need to stop letting things control us and how we behave as human beings i could go on and on but that's all i gotta say whatever you do make sure you hit bump stomp as well to that subscribe button and hit that notification bell whilst you're at it make sure you make time for glorious life it's time to start living it right i'll see you in the next one god bless